Hi and welcome to our Google Lit Trip assignment. Uh, today I thought I'd go through and show you a little overview about what I expect from you as you make your own Google Lit Trips coming up in the next assignment. The idea behind this assignment is that you're incorporating literature as well as Google Earth as a way that you can make a multimedia virtual tour of a book that you would use with your students. Let's first, I'm going to show you the Google Lit Trips site so that you can kind of see uh, how you might go about getting started on something like this. So you can see some finished ones. Uh, the web address is googlelittrips.com and as you come here you can search from a variety of different age groups. Now in this particular instance I'm letting you use K through 6 so you can pick any of those grade levels that you would like to use for yours. I want to open one of these up. As you can see, I can search for the different levels, but I want to open up this one called Semen just so that you can take a look at it and see how this is to be done. Now, we're not going to create the web pages. We're just simply going to create the tours in Google Earth. So you can see if you wanted to look at this uh, tour called Semen, you could click on the link and it would open up a browser window so that you can go and find it. I've already done that, so let's open up Google Earth and just let you see uh, what we have as part of this assignment. So when the when the Seaman virtual tour or the lit trip is done you can see that there are several locations that are part of this. In this one there are about 12 different uh, locations that they marked as part of this Google lit trip. We're going to do the same thing. Your requirement for this assignment is to have 10 locations that are part of a book that you would use with your students. You'll mark each of those locations and create a virtual description of that location using uh, the Google Earth software. So let's show you how that looks. When one of these is done, you can see if I click on a location, it pops open a little header that has a photo, a description, and some discussion questions that you would use with your students. We're going to use this as our template and do the same thing. So each of the 10 locations that you mark should have a, a title, it should have an image, and it should have a brief description uh, of the chapter or the area. And the last thing that it should have is you should have some kind of a discussion prompt or some kind of an activity prompt. Um, now, for some examples, you're going to find that you don't have a historical novel like this one for Seaman, so you may choose to include, instead of the synopsis of the, of the chapter or the area, maybe the sentence or the, the couple of sentences that come from the book in the location that you're working on. I'll show you this as we, keep, as we progress through these videos. But this is the general idea that you'll create a tour that has several locations that as we go through, we can find out about each location by clicking on the place mark and reading about the different locations and then you've got some discussion prompts for your students. This is a, an idea that's getting a lot of popularity in language arts classrooms and I think it's a good assignment for us to work on as a nice example of incorporating technology into the curriculum. 